Well, uh, really pleased with our guys. You come back off a, a road trip where I thought we'd really played well. Um, and our energy was terrific tonight. Uh, we did a lot of good things. We established ourselves defensively in the first half, uh, holding them to 25 points um, and 26% shooting. So we really put ourselves in a good position coming out of the break. Um, I thought we got some really good play out of Isaac and Bryce. Thought they controlled the game really well. And, and having Tony makes a difference. You know, we didn't have him in that first game. And, you know, he gets a double-double tonight. Um, I thought Tom came in and gave us some really good stuff off the bench. And um, Kavon does what Kavon does. So um, just really good and, and really proud of the team. And now we got a big one uh, coming up here on Saturday because Oregon's playing really well. Way back before the season, you mentioned that this would be a different team from October to February. Is this you starting to see kind of what you envisioned back then? Well, I hope so. You know, to me, I think we're getting better. I, you know, I told the guys when we got back from the road trip that um, we played pretty well. I mean, we played really well at Stanford, and I thought we played really well at, at California. I, I thought we did a lot of good things in both of those games. And uh, I've told our guys before, there are some times you win, and I don't think you get better. And there's some times you can lose and still get better. And I thought we lost at Cal, but we got better. And so we've been playing uh, at a higher level. We played really well against Utah. We backed that up with a really good game against uh, Colorado. Uh, and then we went on the road. And that's by far the best we've played on the road this year. Um, in, in that two game road trip. So, and, and I thought we were really good tonight. You know, we hold them, you know, to 38% shooting and out rebound them by almost 20. You know, we did a lot of good things. So, we're in a stretch here. We've been playing some pretty good basketball, and we're going to have to have that. You know, down the stretch, we're going to have to continue to do that. We're tied now with Oregon State, with Oregon winning tonight at USC. Uh, there's still one game ahead of us. So, there's a lot of guys, a lot of teams bunched up still fighting for this thing. So, it's going to be a it's going to be a great finish and uh, sets up for a great match uh, Saturday at noon. You guys talked about focusing on penetrating, especially with the guards, and it seemed like early on you guys just got so hot from three that it, it didn't really matter. How much did that change things compared to the last game when you guys, I think you were 6 of 25? Right, and I think, again, it opens it up when you've got somebody like Tony inside. And, you know, Tony did a really good job tonight, even if he didn't get the ball. He was such a presence in there that they had to guard him, so their zone got got a little bit flatter. We wanted to screen the top, which I thought we did a really good job. Kavan and Gigi did a great job screening the top. Uh, and then we just wanted to make plays. We wanted to attack. And, you know, their zone gets you standing around to where you, you end up not running anything, and they're guarding no, nothing. So now for 10, 15 seconds, you're just standing around looking at each other. And we wanted them to guard – if we had a 35-second clock and we used the whole thing, we wanted to at least guard for 35 seconds. And I thought the guys did. We were a little careless on the break. They got a couple transition um, turnover baskets that we just were a little careless with our ball handling in the first half. But, you know, other than some careless turnovers, I, I thought we did a really good job of actually getting them out of their zone to where basically the last 10 minutes they had to go man. Isaac getting nine assists, does he – has he shown that he can be maybe as much of a point guard as you'd have? Well, I don't for? think it was such a point guard. He didn't play much point guard tonight. Um, Bryce, what he played, 36 minutes. I, you know, I thought what Isaac did really well that was when he was on the zone, he made a lot of good decision making. Uh, forget point guard, shooting guard, big guard. He's a guard, just like Bryce is, just like Norman is. But uh, we didn't like play him at point tonight. Um, he just did a really good job against their zone on the wing of making good decisions. And, and that's what we've talked about for the last two days in going against their zone that we didn't do up there. Uh, we didn't have good shot selection up there. And we didn't make good decisions with the ball. And tonight we did that. And Isaac was as good as anybody on our team tonight of making really good decisions. And when he does that, you know, that, that helps everything. Not only to get nine assists, he only had two turnovers and he gets 16 points. He made shots. And, you know, when he's playing that way, it really helps us because, you know, it wasn't one of Norman's best nights. But as I told Norman, your team won going away with you not having one of your better nights. So you can gain a lot of even more trust with your teammates. And, and that's good to see because obviously Norman's been very hot for us. And for him to have a little bit of an off night and we still win the way we won, uh, that's encouraging, especially for these other guys. You guys haven't had 30 free throw attempts in regulation since, I think, non-conference schedule. It's been how a long much, time. How much of a difference did it make to get those, to be able to get those easy points? Especially? Well, and that's what, that's what they are, and, and you've got to get there. We didn't shoot a great percentage, but um, we got there. We had, what, 
I think almost everybody other than Gigi got a free throw attempt tonight. So that's what we have to do. And, you know, we'd like to get 30 a night. That doesn't mean we're going to get 30. But we've had too many games where we're getting 15, 16, 17, and that's not near enough. So, And we're doing that against a team that zones most of the time. So to get that many free throws against a team that zones, um, without watching the tape, I, I would say we were pretty good at attacking their zone and making them guard and, and getting some angles on them. And I thought we did a good job of, again, going back to Tony and Tom, we got the ball inside. And sometimes zones can make you just settle for jump shots, and we didn't do that. You know, we, again, playing a zone team, we only took 18 threes. We got the ball inside, we got fouled, we drove the ball, and that was good to see. Thank you. Bryce, how, did, how much did it help to ha hit those first four three-pointers? seemed like you guys kind of got confident early on, and, and that helped you kind of break their zone. Yeah, you know, it's big. Uh, it's big to hit uh, outside shots against the zone. Uh, it's something that if you can do that, uh, especially at the beginning of the game, you know, it, it makes them adjust. Um, and they play a really good zone. And uh, when you can make, make shots like that at the beginning of the game, you know, they have to adjust. And um, we did that at the beginning, and it, it hurt them. Definitely. How much was Tony a factor in making sure that zone had to collapse it in a little bit more than it did the last time around? Zero. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's big, you know, not having him up there, uh, that hurt us. Um, you know, not having, not having the double punch of him and Tom in there, that, that hurt. Um, and, and having him back, being able to throw it inside uh, and, and get buckets uh, that way it was big. And then Tom did, Tom did a great job of coming in and posting it and, and doing a good job with his right-handed hook. So uh, it, was, it was our plan at the beginning to get inside. What's the confidence level um, for you guys right now? It seems like you're playing more free, have more freely than you have in a, in a while. Go ahead. Um, we're just playing harder, playing tough. You know, just trying to get a lot of stops. We, we got a lot of good stops tonight, and was able to get out and run. And you know, Bryce was able to make some threes today, which is unlike not playing. But yeah, we just had fun. We ran. When we guard like that, it's hard to beat us. Tony, what was the key to you guys getting to the line so much? Or was that just how they were calling the game, maybe? Um, yeah, to do it. We were just trying to, trying to play hard, a little acting. But you know, playing hard and just using our bodies to get low post touches where they had to foul us. And they, we, didn't give, we didn't give the refs any options just to call the foul. And it worked in our favor. We watched tape at Cal. And we, we didn't get a lot of foul calls going our way. So we just tried to draw contact early. At this time of the year, you said on Tuesday you knew exactly where you guys stand in, in, in the standings. How much of this time of year do you look at the scores from around the league, see where you stand uh, after each game? Uh, yeah, uh, personally, that is something that I like to do, uh, just kind of see uh, what's going on around the league, because it's important. Uh, it's important to us. Uh, we know um, we know how the Oregon game already shaped up. You know, They won at USC, so we know we're down a game to them. Uh, so that's another. Another big game on Saturday. Uh, just like this one, we had to, we had to come and uh, beat a team that was right ahead of us. Um, so now we're tied up with them. Uh, we got to do the same thing on Saturday. Tony, when was the last time you made seventy-seven percent of your free throws in a game? Um, Never. Probably like I was a real good three free throw shooter in like rec league, third grade, MCN. Like that was one of my specialties. I was a tech shooter, late game shooter. But I mean, like it was, it was a lower basket, you know. So I think that has something to do with it. But I was just trying to get in the gym and shoot. I've been out shooting Bryce lately. That's been helping me out a lot in practice. And you know, it's like the Steph Curry, Clay Thompson type thing we got going on right now. It's, it's working in our favor. Which one I'm a mixture of both and a little and a little LeBron. It just depends on the game. How much did it help your guys' confidence? Just, I think you started four or four from three. Uh, did it just kind of help you guys get in a flow offensively? Yeah, I mean, um, what they were doing that we didn't take advantage of last game was uh, attacking their press in their zone. Um, and we did more of that, penetrated, and, uh, kicked out, and we got open looks. So, and you know, by making them, you know, it helped us, you know, gain a lead and, and gain some confidence, like you said, and, you know, and start off on a good run. What did you guys do on defense that you weren't able to do when you were in Corvallis last month? Um, it's kind of like maintaining Peyton. Um, they got a lot of transition points as well. And, you know, cutting the turnovers, you know, down to a minimum. And, um, 
you know, defensively, just, you know, containing them. I mean, we play, we, we charged this new defense called three, and uh, I think that helped uh, and slowed them down. You get a season high in assists. What worked for you tonight? Like I said, you know, just penetrating, kiss, kicking out, and um, attacking their zone, you know, making plays. And um, that's all, that's all that rules to it.